In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a more complicated robot for animation. You'll notice that this robot has an extra linkage on top that we didn't have before. Now, I've already set up the base robot like we did in the previous video. And you'll notice if we move the original robot, the new pieces don't move. So what I'm going to show you is how to properly link these so we can animate it. Now, unlike before, we can't create one big linkage so the robot moves together as a whole. So what we need to do is a little trick to make it look like they're moving together. So what I'm going to do first is just link this new part to the head of the robot and lock it into place. Now what we need to do is move the pivot points of the new objects the same way we did the first time we set this up to create a new linkage. This is going to create a separate system that moves independently from the first one we set up, but in a similar manner. So now we can go ahead and move all of the pivot points and lock them, except for the rotation about the specified axis. So I'm skipping ahead pretty quickly because we should already have the skills to do this. So I just want to show you where the pivot point should be. Again, we're using the same method as before to move our pivots and to lock them in position. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and link our objects just as we did before in its own system. We're going to start at the top and work our way back and then link our last object to the base. So once this is done, there's two new pieces on the back we still need to take care of. So we're going to adjust these the same way. Now when we link these, we want to link the smaller cylinder so it rotates the lower arm and the larger cylinder so it moves with the base. So now our robot's all set up for animation. So now we're going to start in our set key mode and hit Control A to select all of the objects and place an initial keyframe. Now what we're going to do is move the robot into a new position just like we did before. We're going to start by moving the original robot. So you'll notice that our new pieces still aren't moving with our original robot, but what we're going to do is move those separately and line everything up, and when we keyframe it, it's going to look like it's moving together. So now let's start moving our new pieces and getting those lined up like we want them. So what we're going to do is move these around slowly until they look like they're in the right position. Then once that's done, we can select all of our objects and place a keyframe. So now that all of our keyframes are set up, we can play the animation and it looks as if everything's moving together. <laughs> 